Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you, you came back. Hope your day is going well. That loud sound you're hearing is the grounds are being mowed. And um, that's one of the pluses of when you live in a condominium that you don't have to worry about wow snow being plowed grass being mowed but you know what it's nothing like your own it's nothing like your own I've been here for say what three years and this has been a blessing because um, I'm being a little personal because we family like that. I don't pay gas or electric. In all my years of having my own apartment or place of living, I have never had to pay gas or electric. What I did, or a water bill, what I did have to pay was my rent. So that's a blessing. And um, here has been, I live in Rochdale Village in Jamaica, Queens. This has been a blessing to me. And for 20 of those 34 years, my husband and I have lived here together. But it, it is time, y'all. Okay. Now, how many of you, when you have your mayonnaise that look like that, you throw it out? Eh, eh, eh. This is old school. Take whatever you're gonna need that mayonnaise for and you put it in the mayonnaise jar, the mayonnaise bottle, or mayonnaise, whatever it is, and you get all the scrapings of what is left in that jar. It's like it ain't that hard. What are you talking about? Times ain't hard like that. Didn't say times had to be hard. But we're living in a time where as we have to be more conscious of our food because we throw away a lot of food. When I say we, I mean all of us because I know we're guilty of that we're very guilty of it and it, it shouldn't be I'm telling you go on one of those PBS stations see how you can get it all up in there you get the little corners see as I was saying Go on one of those PBS stations and see how rural America is living. People are poor, but they survive. I love to watch African channels. And um, there's a channel that I watch. It's called Miss Dosha. They use everything. And then there's another one. I forgot the name of hers. But they were cooking a goat. She said in Africa, they use every part of the animal. And they do. But it kind of freaked me out when I saw them eat the goat's eye. Not gonna lie, I'm like, dang, on oh man, that's some real eating. They ate the tongue. Only thing they didn't eat was the teeth. 
and it, the way it looked, I'm like, oh my God. It didn't look nasty or anything like that. It just looked like something I wasn't used to seeing. And um, I've been watching a lot of videos of people that leave, I think it's called Live in Nepal. They can live on the side of a mountain and they cook, they sleep, and everyone is right there together. We, we, I'm not, well, you'll know who I mean when I say we. Okay? Now, all gone, as we say. <laughs> I'm making this for my little cooking diva. She's here with me today. She's in the class on virtual school. So, I asked her, I said, well, you know, what do you want for lunch? She says, oh, I bought tuna. I said, and uh, you expect me to make it, right? Yeah. <laughs> it took me a while to realize that I spoil my children. And um, it is what it is, okay? My mother, and this is very good. This is Boris Head Mustard. I'm just going to put a dab in there because she even reminded me, she said, you're going to put, um, she said, told me what I had put in it. She said, you put a little bit of mustard. I said, okay. I said, no. So she must have liked it. This is my little lady that she'll, you know. I don't eat that. I don't eat that. I love those kind of kids that tell me what they don't eat. <laughs> yeah, right. Pay no attention. I make it. They be eating it. They be like, ooh, Gooby, this is good. It is? Yeah, it's good. And then I tell them after they eat it. You don't tell them before they eat it. I tell them what it is that they eat it. Wow, I never had that before. That's good. Is that mm -hmm. Never say never. I'm trying to find my husband had made some tuna fish. I guess he must have ate it. I'm gonna put a little bit of relish in here. I don't remember if I put relish in here before, but I'm gonna put, if I could find it. Of course, when you be looking for stuff, you can't find it. It's nowhere to be found, but she'll be all right if I can't find it. Okay. All right. Don't see it. Let me look a little bit more. Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. Excuse my back. But, um, I know she likes pickles. So I'm going to put a pickle on the side. This is the kid that... I had, I think I had one pickle, and I gave her half of it. She looked at me like, what's the problem? How can I can't have the whole pickle? <laughs> Let me tell you something. This here, these pickle here, Matter of fact, tomorrow we're going out because I got to get my water. The bomb. The bomb. The best pickles. The best pickles. Okay, I'm going to go back in a little bit of time. A lot of you may not remember this. There used to be this, a store. I don't know. I can't 
can't remember what the name of that store was, but I know it was in Long Island City, and it was on 21st Street. It was um, on 21st Street and Broadway. And in the back of the store, I haven't even had breakfast yet, but I'm going to sure I eat a piece of this pickle. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's so plate look nice. She may not eat all these pickles. But I'm going to fix it up for her if she do want to eat it. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to put it in a nice little bowl. Cut it up. Oh, boy, that's so good. But, the, I forget, it was a grocery school store. And in the back of the grocery store, there was a pickle barrel. Oh my Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Do I remember when I would go to the store? Because my godmother lived on Broadway. She lived across the street from the church. What was the name of the church? Hmm. Community Church of Astoria. And what would happen? We go see my Mary. That was her name. Her name was Mary Harris. We go see my Mary. Some pepper. Mm. Some garlic powder. Ooh, a little bit much now. And some Parsley. Okay, okay. And some onion powder. Well, we will go see my Mary. And then we go over to the grocery store. I don't know what we would go get. But we would go over there and then back of our store. There would be a pickle barrel. Ooh! Lord, have mercy to my good, good, good. And you'd go in there and they'd have the tongs. And you go and you get your pickle out. Put it in a little plastic bag. And it just tastes this. All right, Jackie. That good. Okay. Now, I'm gonna keep her bread in her little packet here. Plus, her bread should be coming up. So she can have her sandwich or she had waffles this morning that she didn't eat yet. I don't know, but I know she always looks to me to make sure. Booby, you don't have my food ready? And she gives me this look like, why, 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 why don't you have my food ready? So, I beat her to the punch today. So, as I was saying, that's the story pickle barrel and whenever I eat these pickles it takes me back to my childhood oh my god mm, mm, mm. now we all have these containers I don't care what kind of containers you buy but you know you always keep these containers why because we're gonna put something else in it <laughs> 
say that little corner there for me. So now I'm going to pretty it up for her. Because she's going to make her own sandwich. I'm going to put a little bit of the pepper marica on top. Woo! Child, almost too much. That's nice. Presentation is very important. For everyone that you feed, presentation. It makes it good just to me it makes me feel that when you fix it up like that that you did it with love because you love me and that's how I was raised that's how I was raised so this is Nia's lunch or her snack or whatever she gonna call it this is her tuna fish is ready but going back to the pickles takes me back to my childhood. Yes, it does. I had such a fun childhood. And, um, I was blessed to have an extended family. That statement of it takes a village. I didn't know what that was. But then when I got older, I realized that's what it was because that, that's how I was raised my mother was she was older when she had me she had me when she was 36 and in the 50s that was considered as being old to have a baby but some um, most women I don't know why this is acting up and don't want to go back in there. Most women would have already had their children at that age. But my mom, she couldn't conceive. And her and my father, they were together for nine years. And they couldn't conceive. And then goes the weasel. My mother got pregnant. 